In this video, we'll be going over set matrix zero. So given M times M matrix, if an element is zero, set its entire row and column to zero, do it in place. So our first example, we have a zero in this cell, then we fill its row to zero, then we fill its column to zero. So let's go over the follow-up. A straightforward solution using O of M sp N space is probably a bad idea. This means we're gonna create a copy of the input array and then we're going to fill the cells inside the input array using the copy. And then a simple improvement using O of M, M plus N space, but still not the best solution. This means we're going to create two arrays, one for the rows and one for the columns, and then it will mark the indices that we need to fill with zeros. And then the last one is create device and constant space solution. This means we need to use our input matrix to indicate the rows and columns that we need to fill with zero. So in our first example, we have a cell here with a value of zero. This means we'll mark the cell here at the first column with a zero. And then we'll mark the cell here with a zero. This will allow us to indicate that we're supposed to fill the whole row or the whole column to zero. Let's go over the thought process. We will be implementing a constant space approach. We will be using the first row and first column to indicate if we are supposed to fill the row or column with zero. So for example, if the cell at matrix RC is equal to zero, then we're gonna set matrix R0 to, to zero. This, this will allow us to indicate that we're, we're supposed to fill the row with a zero. Then we'll set matrix 0C to zero. This will allow us to to mark the column in the first row to zero. And then we, later we will we will know that we're supposed to fill the column C with a value of zero. Now before before we start using the first row and column, we will first need to check if there is a zero inside first row or column we can create two variables to indicate this factor or this side case. Let's go over the pseudocode. So we're gonna create two variables. So row has zero. This means the first row has zero. So it's a Boolean variable to indicate if the first row has zeros. And then we have col column has zero. It's gonna be a Boolean variable to indicate if the first column has zero. Now we are going to iterate through the first row first. Iterate through the columns denoted as C. Then if matrix zero C, which means the first row is equal to zero, then we're going to set row has zero to true. We can break from the loop. Then we're going to iterate through columns uh, iterate through the rows, denoted as R. This will allow us to iterate through the first, the first column. If matrix R zero is equal to zero, then we have the row, uh, the column has a equal. To, this, the column has a zero, so we're gonna set column to zero to true. Then we can break from the loop. Now we are ready to iterate through the, all of the other cells. And then we're, we're going to mark the first column and the first row if we ever see a zero. So we're going to iterate through the rows from one to last row, denoted as R. Then we're going to iterate through the columns from one to last column, denoted as C. Then if matrix RC is equal to zero, we want to mark the cells in the first row and the first column. So I'm going to set matrix R0 to 0, and we'll set matrix 0C to 0. Now we, are, we, now we are ready to fill the rows and columns that has a 0 in them. Now we're going to iterate through the columns from 1 to last column. We, we will be skipping the first column because we are going to account for that inside our row iterations as we iterate through the first row. So we're going to denote it as C. Now if 
matrix 0 C the first row in the column is equal to 0 this means we will need to fill the current column to 0 so we're going to fill all of the cells inside column C to 0 now we're going to iterate through the rows of the input matrix we're going to denote it as C uh, R now if matrix R0 is equal to 0 this means we, we will need to fill the um, fill all of the cells inside the row to 0 so fill all of the cells inside row R to 0 now if now now we still need to account for the case in our first row and the first column so if row has 0 fill the first row with 0 then if column has 0 uh, it's true if column has 0 is true then we're going to fill the first column with 0 okay now now let's go over to time and space complexity so the time complexity is equal to we iterate through twice so it's going to of 2 times mn so it goes to mn where mn are the numbers of rows and columns two iterations one for marking and one for filling and space complexity is equal to of one because we did not create any extra space let's go over the code so let's first create our two boolean variables row, row has zero so initially false column has zero also initially false then we're going to iterate through the columns then if matrix 0 C is equal to 0 this means the first row has a 0 I'm going to say row has a 0 to true then we can break from the loop and then we're going to iterate through the rows to check for the first column then if matrix R0 is equal to 0 this means the first column has a 0 so I'm going to say column has 0 to true and then we can break from the loop and we're going to iterate through all the other cells and then we're going to mark the indices that has that contains a zero if the current cell contains a zero we're going to mark the cells inside the first row and the first column Now we now we're gonna fill our matrix. So we're gonna say fill matrix of zero. We can pass in our matrix and our row has zero and the column has zero. We we're just gonna create another uh, another method for this. Now we're first going to iterate through the columns, skipping the first column because we're going to count that inside our row iteration. Then if matrix R0C is equal to 0, this means we need to fill the column of 0. So we're going to say fill column of 0. This means we need, we need to pass in the matrix and also the column. And then we'll iterate through the rows. Then if matrix R0 is equal to 0, this means we need to fill the row of 0. So I'm going to say fill row matrix of C, uh, R. Now we need to account for our first row and the first column. So if row has 0, then we're going to say fill row. Of zero 
at the zero row, and then if column has zero, then we had to fill the column, the column zero, with with zeros, the first column zero. Now let's create our methods to fill the column and also fill the rows. Let's let's start with the method uh, for the column first. I'm going to iterate through the rows, and I'm going to set matrix RC to zero. Now we're going to fill the rows with zero. We're going to iterate through columns. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more videos that will help you pass a technical interview. I upload videos every day and if there are any topics you want to cover, let me know in the comment section below.